to my husband, where is that sound? But I didn't tell him where this was coming from. But this was a word that I received to them on. So you your said, heart also? Again, it is a, a scripture deposited in my spirit. Mm -hmm. But you see, we are not special. Or we are not different. What the Holy Spirit does to me, he will do with you, but, but you just have to learn to yield. That is the lesson I've learned. Mm -hmm. and, and to believe, actually, that the word, what is written in the word, is real. You mm -hmm. see, it is one thing reading what is in the word, and another thing going on to doubt. Mm -hmm. and, and my other testimony would be that when we got out of the house today in the morning, I felt like a migraine was coming, which happened last Sunday, actually. And I just told my husband, last Sunday, I had a migraine, the whole day were out. So when we went home, after cooking and everything, I just went to bed, and I didn't want the light on everything. So it was too much. When I closed my eyes, opened them, I still felt the strain. And he had told me that, why don't you lay hands on your head and pray? So I had prayed on the train, but you know, very passively. So we get home, and I said, okay, look, this is enough. I have the Holy Spirit in me. He, you know, I can ask for the healing. Mm -hmm. There's nothing different from the Christians of that time. The ones that walked with Jesus, and we are the same, only that we are in a different time. The Bible says that those who believe in Jesus can call on his name. Mm -hmm. who will do the same things like he did, you know, like they did, and even much more. Mm -hmm. So I, I just, you know, was in bed, and he was mm -hmm. in the closet, because he had switched off the light and was reading from the closet. And he had me rebuking with that. He actually opened the door and I said, I'm praying. So he closed and I'm in bed. So I was like, I rebuked the migraine. And I had the Holy Spirit in my spirit again, saying, say migraine is not my portion and headache is not my portion. Mm -hmm. So I did the same and I said, I rebuke in Jesus' name. I command you to lift right now. And I tell you, instantly, it left. I was like, wow. You know, in the morning, I told my husband, you won't believe. And he said, so it works. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, what? What happened? And I said, I prayed last night, and I slept like a baby, you know, very peacefully. So he said, why do you say, I won't believe? Because it is real. Why wouldn't I believe that Jesus can lift? Mm -hmm. You know, when you call on Jesus, that headache can lift. So today, when we left the house, we got to the station, and I was feeling the strain again. So I was like, oh, back again what is the problem so i told him can we please walk to the end of the platform and he, you know he said why and i said i need to pray i feel the strain again so i said all oh, right okay so we went sat at the end of the platform and again i laid my hands because i said these hands you know can heal in the name of jesus we have the power in the name of jesus we don't have to you know we have to practice this and you know when i pray sometimes when i'm in home reading and everything I say Lord show it to me give me that confidence boost that confidence I start with me it starts with me I can lay hands with my husband and then it gives you the confidence to go out there not that you need the confidence to first believe God's word I can just come and lay on a sister and say sister it is well you are healed in the name of Jesus but it starts with you because I've seen it happen so again, I did the same thing at the platform. I didn't even tell him it's gone. I just kept quiet because I knew it so, But I knew it would go. So, you see, those are the things that God does. And, and what we read is real. It is, God is with us. You know? We just have to strengthen ourselves and take the word on what it says. It is actually right. That is my testimony. Do you want to uh, share about too, how you experience the Holy Spirit by yourself? Is it? Uh, well, I've had different experiences, and again, I've had similar signs of my husband. There are times I've had the heat. Mostly, for me, mostly when I'm in worship, I, I feel the Holy, Holy Spirit more. So, you know, I, I have a tendency of being very expressive when I'm worshiping. I can lift my hands or do, you know, it's, I, I have this picture that God is there and I'm just expressing myself. So in lifting my hands, I've had the experience of feeling the heat in my body and sometimes feeling like a heaviness coming over me and you feel you can't stand anymore and you just kneel down 
Uh, other times it's the overwhelming and the tears just come out. Mm -hmm. So for me, I've had those experiences. But I've also had a typical one is this with bubbling in your belly. I just feel a bubbling coming up like, and you feel like inside your body, you know, it's vibrating. Mm -hmm. But it happens again when I say, if I say Holy Spirit, this is what's happening, or Holy Spirit. Well, sometimes I just stop and wash it. Holy Spirit, you're wonderful, you're beautiful, and I just feel that bubbling. It's as if mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit is talking back to me, mm -hmm. saying, answer it back to you. Anyone want to?